Hello everyone! I'm back again with another video about vlogging basics. This time, gusto kong pag-usapan natin yung monetization requirements ni YouTube. I decided to create this video because it seems most of the vloggers don't understand how to compute for their watch hours. At kung magre-reset daw ba yung total watch hours pag di nabuo within a year yung requirement. So kung interesado ka malaman ng tungkol dito, do keep on watching. Before we start the computation, discuss lang ulit natin quickly kung ano nga ba yung mga requirements ni YouTube for monetization. Ang sabi dito, to be reviewed, all channels need at least 4,000 watch hours in the previous 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. Ulitin lang natin ha, 1,000 subscribers at at least 4,000 watch hours in the previous 12 months. Self-explanatory na yung 1,000 subscribers. Pero laging nalilito ang karamihan sa part na apat na libong oras sa nakaraang labing dalawang buwan. So to answer the frequently asked question, kung mare-reset ba yung watch hours pag di na kumpleto ang requirements in 12 months, the answer is no. Hindi po siya mare-reset. Kasi when you say reset, mawawala lahat ng watch hours which is not the case. Matatanggal lang yung watch hours nung buwan na hindi na makakasama sa nakaraang labing dalawang buwan mo. To put it in visual, here's an example. Kunwari, you created your account last September 4, 2018. Sabihin na lang natin gumawa ka ng 10 videos at sa 10 videos na yon nakakuha ka ng 88 watch hours. Wait! Take note nga pala ulit ha, hindi po minutes, hindi po views, kundi watch hours. Okay? So, rewind tayo ng konti. Nakakuha ka ng 88 watch hours within the month. So, that's September 4 to October 4 of 2018. Dahil masipag ka ilang videos nang nagawa mo at isa sa mga video nga, medyo pumatok. Kaya sa second month mo, which is October to November, nakakuha ka naman ng 243 watch hours. Then, the succeeding months, kunwari na lang ha, eto yung mga naging watch hours mo. November to December, 174 hours. December to January 2019, 942 naman ang watch hours mo. January to February naman ay 125 hours. February to March, 111 hours. March to April, 132 hours. April to May, 656 hours. May to June, 150 hours. June to July, 887 hours. And finally, July to August, 147 hours. Diba ang example natin ay September 4, 2018 ka nagsimula. So kung noong July to August 4, 2019, nakakuha ka ng 147 hours, then from August 5, 2019 until September 4, dapat maka at least 345 watch hours ka na para maabot mo na yung requirements ni YouTube for monetization approval. Pero paano kung hindi mo na naabot yung 345 watch hours na kulang? Let's say, 103 watch hours lang yung nakuha mo. Okay lang, hindi naman mawawala yung lahat ng watch hours na nabuo mo na. Ang mangyayari lang, magbumove na yung past 12 months mo kaya mawawala na yung 88 watch hours mo noong September 2018 to October 2018. Pag natanggal na yung 88 watch hours mo, ang kakailanganin mo namang makuhang watch time within September 5 to October 4, 2019 para makapasa ka na sa YouTube monetization approval ay magiging 330 watch hours. Teka, bakit nga ba natin tatanggalin yung 88 hours? Kasi di ba dapat September 4, 2019 nabuo mo na yung 4,000 watch hours Kaso, kinulang ka nga. So, pag nag-move forward na yung araw, say, September 5, 6, 7, and so on, mag-move na yung month mo. Ang magiging part na ng past 12 months mo ay October 2018 to October 2019. Therefore, matatanggal o mawawala na talaga sa bilang ng total watch hours mo yung mga oras na nakuha mo noong September to October 2018, which in our example is 88 watch hours. So, ganun lang yon. Count backwards ka to know which months yung kasali sa past 12 months mo then remove the watch hours nung mga months na hindi nakasali. Kung babalikan natin yung data mo for the past 12 months, para hindi masayang yung mga months na malaki ang nakuha mong watch hours, kailangan double effort ka either sa paggawa ng bagong content 
or pag-promote ng mga existing content mo para makadagdag sa watch hours mo and finally, mabuo mo na yung requirement. Sana kahit pa nun, naipaintindi ko sa'yo ng maayos yung part na yan. Kung oo, please do give this video thumbs up. Anyway, moving forward, now na medyo may idea ka na kung paano i-compute ang watch hours in the past 12 months, I'm sure na lula ka sa laki ng mga oras na required per month para mabuo yung 4,000 watch hours, di ba? Pero I'll share with you this perspective para di ka masyadong ma-pressure or para makita mo kung anong strategy ang pwede mong gawin to meet the requirements. Ready ka na? Medyo mat to, pero try nyo na lang sabayan ako, ha? Damay, damay na ta! Since isa nga sa requirement ni YouTube for monetization tong 4,000 watch hours, in order to achieve this, you can look at it the hard or easy way. So the hard way, 4,000 watch hours is 240,000 minutes or 167 days. Nakakalula, di ba, by simply looking at these figures. Imagine, kakailanganin mong may manood ng videos mo 24-7, yes, magdamag, for 167 straight para ma-achieve mo yung required na 240,000 minutes. Or pwede din naman simple math na lang, 4,000 watch hours divided by 12 months, at least 334 hours per month within 12 months ang kailangan mong makuha. Pero parang ang laki pa rin ng 334 hours per month. But you can look at it this way, the easy way. Kung 4,000 hours is equivalent to 240,000 minutes, if we divide it within 12 months, since diba kailangan natin ma-achieve your requirement within the past 12 months, so that would be 20,000 minutes a month. Malaki pa rin ba sa tingin mo? Siguro nga malaki pa rin siya tignan kung ang iniisip mo isa o dalawa lang ang taong manonood ng content mo. Pero nakakalimutan mo yata na kailangan may 1,000 subscribers din sa requirement, di ba? Kung nabuo mo yung 1,000 subscribers, then all you need to do is to encourage those 1,000 subscribers to watch at least 20 minutes of your uploaded content every month within 12 months. Imagine, 20 minutes a month per subscriber na lang yun. That would be at least 1 minute per watch time per day within the 12 months period. Teka, teka. Baka di nyo masyado na-absorb. Pakita ko kung paano nakuha yung figures. Para makuha yung equivalent minutes nung requirement, 4,000 hours times 60 minutes is... 240,000 minutes within the 12 month period. Para makuha natin ilang minutes per month, 240,000 minutes divided by 12 months is equals to 20,000 minutes per month. Para makuha natin ilang minutes per subscriber ang kailangan para mabuo natin yung 20,000 minutes in a month, 20,000 minutes divided by 1,000 subscribers is equals to 20 minutes per subscriber. Para makuha natin ilang minutes, Per day, sa loob ng isang buwan, ang kakailanganin para mabuo yung 20 minutes, 20 minutes per subscriber divided by 30 days is 0 0.6666. Eh, yun na yun. So, yun nga, at least 1 minute per day per subscriber within the 12-month period ang kailangan mo. Gets ba? Kung nag-gets mo naman, again, please do hit that like button. So, imagine mo na lang rin kung hindi lang 1,000 subscribers ang meron ka. E di mas madali mo mabubuo yung watch hours if only all your subs will take time to watch your videos, ba? Ngayon naman, discuss natin paano o saan nga ba pwede mabuo ang watch hours mo. Hindi lang yan sa pag-upload ng mga public videos mo. Pwede mo rin mabuo yung watch hours through posting videos with unlisted privacy. Ito yung videos na visible lang sa mga tao ang may link. So, kung wala silang link at dumiretso lang sila sa channel mo, di nilang basta-basta yan makikita. Or even sa live streaming dito sa YouTube. But, take note, kung meron kang dating mga videos na ginawa mo ng private ang privacy or worst, you deleted those videos, kung ilan man ang watch hours na nakuha mo doon, mababawa siya sa total watch hours mo. So, instead of deleting or setting those unwanted videos to private, set mo na lang siya as unlisted para kahit paano, counted pa rin yung watch time mo. I'm sure kasunod na tanong dito ay, paano ba makakakuha ng views? Siguro yung ilan pa sa inyo after understanding and knowing that you will only need 1 minute per day per 1,000 subscribers for a month for 12 months, ulit, you will only need 1 minute per day per 1,000 subscribers for a month for 12 months 
iniisip na madali na yan through VLC or VLS. Mind you, meron pong incentivization spam guidelines si YouTube which includes the manipulation of the metrics tulad niyang VLCS na yan or view, like, and comment or subscribe deals na yan. Kayo din ang mamamroblema after. Baka ma-reject kayo sa monetization program or worse, matanggalan pa kayo ng channel without any warning. Ay ni maniwala, mag-research ka. So, paano nga? Paano nga makakakuha ng views organically? Medyo mahaba-haba pa tong topic na to if we go into details, pero basically, you can gain views organically through unique, informative, or entertaining content. Kasi pag maganda ang klase ng content na pinopost mo, people will keep coming back to watch you. Another basic way would be through aggressive promotion in your other social media accounts. Siyempre, pag na-post post mo na yung video mo sa YouTube, you must not get tired of sharing it to other audience na wala sa YouTube. Kaya nga may share button sa ilalim ng videos natin para maipromote natin ang videos natin sa iba't ibang platform. As for the technical side, yan naman yung mga keyword optimization, visual marketing strategies, and many more. Siguro next video na lang yung further discussion tungkol dito kasi baka abuti na tayo ng forever pag sinama pa yun dito. So kunwari, nabuo mo na yung 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours organically. Bakit wala ka pa ad sa videos mo? Well, hindi naman kasi porket na achieve mo na yung requirements ay automatic ka na pasok sa tinatawag na YouTube Partnership Program or yung program na pwede ka nang kumita. Sa pag-achieve mo ng requirements, nag-apply ka pa lang. Ibig sabihin, nag-submit ka pa lang ng application. Ibig sabihin ulit, may possibility na ma-approve or ma-decline ka pa rin. So, bakit ka ma-decline? Depende yan sa mga naging activity mo sa YouTube channel mo. Sobrang daming guidelines na dapat sundin para sure na ma-approve ka sa program. At pag may ilan kang mga nalabag sa mga yan, possible na ma-reject ang application mo. Sa pagkakaalam ko, YouTube will let you know naman kung bakit hindi na-approve for monetization ng channel mo. At pwede mo naman i-correct yung mga violations mo doon and reapply. If I'm not mistaken, 30 days bago ka makapag-apply ulit. Kaya naman, I highly suggest that before you continue creating and uploading videos, alamin at intindihin nyo maigi ang mga pwede at bawal sa YouTube para di mo maging problema yung mga possible reasons kung bakit ka maaaring ma-reject. Now that you know all this, all this hard work that must be done to be able to earn from this platform na hindi lang paggawa at pag-upload ng videos ang gagawin, game ka pa rin ba maging vlogger? Because if you're still up for the challenge, then that's good! Keep up the spirit! Di ka dapat mawala ng pag-asa, lalo na pat nakapagsimula ka na. Then as for those na ayaw na magtuloy, nasa sa inyo po yan. But, I suggest that you look back on why you began vlogging in the first place. Kailangan kasi talaga may deeper purpose ka why you're here in YouTube or why you chose to start a vlog. Yan ang magiging cheerleader mo when time comes na mawawalan ka na ng pag-asa. Kasi kung nandito ka lang para sa pera, hindi naman easy money dito. May investments pa rin. Not just in the context of monetary investment kasi syempre, di mo may iwasan bumili ng equipment sa pagbablog like tripod, microphone, ring light, etc. But also, yung pag-invest mo ng time and effort mo to produce and promote the videos, ba? So, hindi siya easy money. And you cannot solely rely on YouTube for money. Na as if this will be your bread and butter. Unless, of course, kasing sikat ka na ng mga sikat ngayon. Anyway, ayun, I think medyo mahaba na tong video natin. But I do hope nakatulong naman ako maintindihan mo yung monetization requirements. If there are questions na hindi ko natakil dito, feel free to comment it below. And I will surely respond to all your comments. And again, if this was informative for you, please do give this video a thumbs up. Then if you want to learn more about vlogging basics and then soon about online negosyo and digital marketing plus many more interesting stuff, don't forget to click that subscribe and bell button so you won't miss my next uploads. Thank you for watching until this point as appreciation. Let me plug your YouTube channel in my next video and in my social media account. Simply comment hashtag vlogging basics para alam kong isa ka sa nanonood hanggang sa point na to. Maraming salamat ulit and I do hope you can join me again in my next video. Bye! Para ma-achieve mo yung required na 240 han Para ma-achieve mo yung required Para ma-achieve mo yung 200 Para ma-achieve mo Para ma-achieve mo yung required Pinagpapawisan na ako!
para ma-achieve mo yung required na 240,000 minutes.